Alright guys, here's Lair Bear and John um, in the next round of our um, M13 pre-release sealed event. Uh, not sealed event, Swiss draft event. Uh, we lost a die roll, they chose to play first. I don't think we're going to mulligan this hand. This hand is, you know, fine for us. Uh, so we will not mulligan. Let's see what our hand is. Uh, John, are you there? Here. Okay. Take this down. Definitely. I want the QP. I have four. I'm on my own quest to qualify. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so our opponent is black right now. Um, and we will play out, continually play out for us until we need to show him the planes. Uh, so black red it looks like, unless he's splashing that red. Um, here we're going to play out the Deadly Recluse, and pass back. Let's see what he plays here. He plays Servant of Nephorox. Uh Now do we want to swing into this, or do we want to play defense? Uh, well, swinging in will make us lose the race. Yeah, definitely. I don't think swinging in here is right. I think we want to play defense here. I think I'd, I'd take that trade, honestly, if he uh, offered it. And depending what he played out, I could even Titanic Growth the Deadly Recluse uh, to save it. But I don't think I would do that if uh, he Crippling Blighted the Deadly Recluse, um, which is okay. Now, the question is, I don't think we really want to trade the Titanic Growth and the... Do we want to trade Titanic Growth and Deadly Recluse for Servant and Nephrox and Crippling Blight? That seems... Well, we can't block because the card says so, so... Oh, I didn't even know this card said can't block. Okay. So, no, we can't do that. Never mind. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll take the four then. And move along. Uh, and he plays Mog Flunkies. Can't attack or block alone. So, um... Definitely the red-black aggro deck, it seems. I think here we probably want to play out, uh, we'll see what we draw. Um, do we want to play out Griffin Protector? Well, we, we might have to trade with the Flunkies, so I think we might have to play the Baylock. Okay. The only thing about the Flunkies is, like, if he can't play another guy, then it becomes kind of pointless, kind of useless, you know? No, we're going to have to trade with 3-1 Exalted Big Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'd still rather trade with the Bailoff than the, the Flyer, personally. Okay. Not sure what this is from him. Mog Flunkies and Exalted do not work well together. But we will pass the turn back to him. See what he has for us. Hopefully no removal. This deck that he has here is honestly pretty nasty. Um, I don't... I'm not sure what he's thinking about here. I'll trade the Bailoff for the Servant, and then hopefully he plays a 2 power guy, like a 2 2 or something, so that way we can play Griffin Protector and prey upon it. That would be awesome. That would be sweet. That would be really awesome. Save ourselves a lot of damage. Um, but he is thinking. I hope he's not double queuing. I really feel like double queuing is disrespectful to the people you're playing with. But that's just me. And it's quite boring. It really, boring. it really, really is. I hope he's not. Um, not sure what he has to think about so much. Maybe he really does have like a crazy play here, but he has Mark of Mutiny. So that's interesting. That's good. That is pretty good. Oh, that's gonna bring us down six. Okay. Well, at least we'll have a five three. Bigger than his guy. Uh, we can always prey upon his uh, servant. 
so that way he can't swing in with Mog Funkies next turn. That is an option. I think we might want to do that. Honestly. Okay. Do we want to play? I think we want to play the Griffin Protector and trade for the Servant. Do you think? Well, we could Titanic Growth. Our Baylon attack. Prey upon it. And then prey upon. It. That is interesting. So, do you want to trade him four damage and the Titanic Growth? Instead of a protector. I think I like that play a little bit better. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Uh, so we'll Titanic Growth now. Yep. Then prey upon his servant. And make it so that way he can't swing. It brought us down to five actually, so. Maybe he has a lot of burn spells in him. Maybe he has another mark of mutiny. That would that suck. That would be bad. That would suck. He has a blood hunter bat. That is also not great. Well, at least we have the Griffin to protect ourselves. He has Hopefully he doesn't have like a Chandra's Fury or something like that to kill us. Hopefully. Knowing the deck though. Uh we did draw another we did draw Deadly Recluse, which is good. So we can play Griffin Protector and Deadly Recluse, and swing yeah, in with the... Swing the bail off. Yeah. Swing with the Bela? Yep. Rumble, rumble. We gotta hope he doesn't have a burn spell in his hand, or not in the top two or three cards of his deck, or else we're dead. I mean, what can you do? Mark of Mutiny is pretty good. He blocked with Mog Funky. He's trading two for... That's sweet. I mean, that maybe that means he has the burn spell in hand. He just doesn't want to die to like triple Titanic growth or something. Yeah. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of that you would trade your entire board for one dude. You know? Mm -hmm. So I think he probably has the burn spell here. Yeah, that seems likely. Um, but we'll see. I think here we'll still play out the Griffin Protector and the Deadly Reckless. Just in case he does have another mark of mutiny, he can't kill us. If we only play... Too full. Yeah. That's better than dying. <coughs> we'll see what he has. Uh, looks like a burn spell. Conjus Fury? Yep, that's game. So, what can you do? Um, so, I'm not sure what we want to bring in necessarily against him. I don't think we have anything. We could try to lower our curve, I guess. Our curve is already pretty low, and I'm not sure what we would bring in. Is there any kind of life gain spells? Not in our deck. Optical Harvest? <clears throat> that seems absolutely... Ugh. You gain it's one like life? For each line of control. If it was two, I could consider it. It might be better than the flames of the firebrand. I'm not sure. If we you don't get, have, might not have enough time. Well, I mean, like if you just have it in your hand, if you have evolving wilds or far seek in your opening hand, it can just win some games. Maybe over a titanic growth. Oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta kill him. All right. I think, I think I'm not gonna board in bountiful harvest. Hopefully he doesn't. I'll choose to play first. Uh, hopefully we won't have to mulligan. I think this hand is fine. On the play? Do you think this hand is okay? Chronomaton? Sure. It's not great. It's not great, but... I think it's keepable. It's definitely not great. Draw far seek would be really awesome. And I think here we're just gonna. S oh, we can play Rancor. I think we would just want to play Deadly Reckless here and swing for one, though. Yeah. We'll swing for one first. Uh, 
and he has ravenous rats, we're just going to discard acidic slime. Because chances of us getting there, unlikely. Yeah, the flames of the firebrand is pretty terrible too. Ah. Uh, I don't see acidic slime doing terribly much for us, personally. Yeah. I think here we just rank or up and grow our chronomaton. I would agree with that player. Or we could play another chronomaton, but I think rank or up. Now, do we want to play at the second chronomaton? No. Let's keep growing this one. We do want some land, though. That would be really nice. We play Servant. <clears throat> we'll take two. Grow the Chronomaton, and then pass back, or he'll pass back to us. Land? Titanic growth. Um, here we have a couple options. We can swing both, and then like, Titanic growth, which does not seem good. Or we could just swing in with Deadly Recluse, play the other Chronomaton, and grow them together. I would think that's the play. And we'll play out the chronomaton again, and pass back again. Alright, so we are not looking great. We would like some lands, preferably that mountain, but, you know. He'll swing in for four, which is okay with us. Um, okay. Let's see what this is. Place Furnace Whelp. Um, yep. Here we're gonna grow the Chronomaton that we can. Uh, we do draw another forest, which is good. Um, here, so are we in a race at this point? Are we trying to, like, kill him out? I think so. We do have the Titanic growth. Yeah, we are in the, we are in the, definitely the race. So I think we want to swing with the 3-3 three, three and the 3-2 Deadly Recluse, and leave back the one Chronomaton to grow. Well, we might have to try to trade with that uh, furnace. Well. Yeah, that's, that's bad. That guy is not, not good news. It's going to be 6 damage per turn. That is true. But I think we have to attack now and just hope for the best. Do we want to swing in with both here? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Although I'm pretty sure he's just going to chomp block with the Ravenous Rat, so the Chronomaton. Yep. I'd imagine. Yep, that is what he did. He's down to 10, so we're definitely, you know, if he does, he is like time walking himself, quote unquote, with the uh, furnace wall. But we do have to be careful because he could have Chandra's Fury or some other kind of burn spell. Yeah, that evolving wall might hurt him a lot. I think he's going to pump it up all the way. Yep. Does indeed look like that is what he's doing. So, six. Uh, that's okay with us. We're gonna take six. Screw the Screw it up. And he plays Crippling Blight on our Deadly Recluse, so that means he probably has it. I would say. He's going to kill us next turn. Yep. We did draw Prey Upon. Sweet. How do we Alpha Strike? Alpha Strike and then Prey Upon. Yep. Yep, seems good. That was a nice draw. I mean, there are two of them. That wasn't the only out in our deck, but it was pretty good. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, shit. We, we can... Helped. Can we? Five, seven. Can we just kill him? If he. Titanic Grove, the Red Blues. 
It's too late. Yeah, I've already gone into it. upon that, and that's six, nine, eleven damage. Should kill him. It's too oh, late. Oh, shit. Fuck. You should have. <laughs> uh, okay. We definitely should have. That was way too fast. Well, if we lose, we know why. Um, that was my fault, too. I should have seen that. Maybe he won't block. Maybe. Let's go attack. Nope, he does. Um, so I think here we're gonna Titanic Growth. Yeah. Um, the Recluse. I think we have Titanic Growth of Chronomaton, right? Make it a 7 7, so we still have the 3 3 up on board. Okay. And then Pray. That's bad. That was really bad. Ah. <sighs> I need to be, uh, slower. Ah, jeez, 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 come on. Well, on the bright side, our opponent thinks we're really bad. Well, we'll see what he has. I mean, he could still kill us, you never know, he could just have the burn. I don't think he could do 8 points of burn. You never know. Oh, no, we won. Alright, so, we won there anyway, but we definitely should have won one turn earlier. We shouldn't have given them another draw step. That was bad. Very bad. Um, so we saw Furnace Whelp, <coughs> Servant. I mean, basically, I don't think we want to change much. Would you agree? I would like the Light Gate spell, to be honest. Bounceable Harvest over what, though? Civic Slime? Flames with a Firebrand? Anything? <laughs> Everything? Acidic slime? Uh, you know, our Primadox is pretty bad in this matchup, too. It is. It'll drop us down to 14 creatures, though. God, if we but draw... That's not really a creature. You've seen his, 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 uh, board, though. If we do get Flames of the Firebrand off, I think that's just game. Alright, get rid of the Primadox. We're gonna put Captain's Calling for sure. The only thing that could destroy that is the flames, but if he has it, he has it. Do we want to put in Bountiful Harvest? I really don't think so. Okay. That card just seems uh, mediocre at best. It trades with one of his burn spells. Possibly two. But it doesn't do anything to board. If we're behind, we're just dead. That's what burn spells do. They do nothing on board, but... Well, burn spells are things like Shunga's Fury. Mmm... I'm okay with the way things are. Okay. He's obviously gonna play. Oh. And uh, we'll see what our hand is. Uh, our hand is pretty... well, it... Okay, so I actually think this hand is mildly capable. On the draw? Oblivion Ring? Yeah, we could keep it. Flames. Like, Evolving Wild has to go get Flames. Uh, the Mountain. And like his deck just seems to like peel over to Flames of the Fire Brandon. You know? Mm -hmm. We can possibly three for one him. Uh play out Evolving Wild. Oh, Evolving Wild here? Yeah, right. And just get the mountain. Yeah. Just we peel the forest. Yeah. If not, we probably should have waited until like turn three at least. Ravenous rats. Um okay. No, we want to discard. I think we might want to discard. I think it's the Titanic Growth. I agree. I don't think that's going to do much for us here. Uh, we're going to sack for the mountain here. Yep. Hopefully we'll talk to the Elvish Visionary and uh, negate our card disadvantage. Or Deadly Recluse. Oh, no. Forest is fine, though. Uh, <laughs> we'll pass it back to him. Now, if he plays a servant or something like that, do we just wanna? Oh, he plays another ravenous rats. Uh, I think we might want to discard a land at this point. I would get rid of. Yeah, let's get rid of a forest. I was gonna think Oring would be off. Oring's not gonna really do too too much, but let's get rid of the forest. Like, hopefully, we'll have draw another land, and the captain's call will kind of negate all this card disadvantage again. Yeah. But I think with the way things are, if he plays another X1, and he is screwed for um, mana, so 
I think here we just want to pass it back to him. Yep. Hmm. Maybe we should have kept that for us since we knew that he was screwed for land. I guess we didn't knew that know that when he played the Ravenous Rats though. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Um, land. Heal. Yes. Justice. Um. Justice and a half. Uh, Spike bail off here. Yeah, I'll do that. The only other option is the captain's call. I like Spike bail off here because next turn, if he does double block, I think we should Titanic growth it. Personally. I think if we double block, we better go through. <clears throat> Now, at this point, I think we want to... He chooses not to swing. I think we want to... I think we should flames now, actually. Yeah, I agree. Completely. Uh, and we drew Rancor, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, Rancor flames. This is why I kept he, Rancor. He mark up the mutinous. Which would be terrible. I mean, it would be terrible, but then, like, what else would he have? He would be down a lot. Yeah, well... We'll be... That's six, seven, ten damage. That'll, be, that'll bring us down to seven. So. And then we would swing back for a seven the next turn and bring him down to six. And we could always O ring or a captain's call to like to provide chump blockers. It doesn't look so like he has anything good. right now. Uh, I think here I just want to swing, swing a captain's call. Push yep. up the beats. That worked yeah, out. It was a nice, clean win against a very good deck. Yeah. Well, he was mana screwed for two or three turns. He didn't. He missed a couple land drops. Uh, he plays Blood Hunter Bat, which is okay. We all ring and we bring him down to two. Hopefully, we top deck a land and win. Yep, that would be really nice. Actually, I think if we just O ring, we win anyway because he can't block. He's at nine anyway, so O ring here is just the right play. So don't we don't want to miss another win on board, John? No, that would be bad. I yeah. thought you, the bat would bring us uh, out of death range. All right, I guess not. That was pretty solid. So uh, we're going into the final round now. Um, the only reason to play these things, since the payout is so terrible, is to get the QP. So hopefully we can get the QP. Uh, our deck seems all right. Um, pretty good so far. Uh, we've gone 2-0. Uh, tell us if you if we missed any plays. Obviously, we made some misplays with uh, the win on board, and uh, we haven't been playing the best, I would say. Um, but you know, tell us what you think about the draft so far. It is M13. It's a new set. Um, tell me what you would like to see from the new set. I've been thinking about, or I'll just I'll give some notes to you guys about what I've been thinking about for the new set. Uh, and I hope to see you guys in round three. I hope you've been enjoying it so far. Bye, guys.